as good, Miss Neal. We beat that professional private eye at his own game. Now, you are the one who lied and said the stalker moved to South America, Teresa. And thanks to my utterly convincing story, Ethan took Frank Lomax off the case. I don't understand you. When you first hired me, you told me to do whatever it took, whatever it took, to catch your stalker. But that wasn't the, when the girl was in harmony. Now she's out of the country. There's no proof. All I care about is that she stopped bothering me. That's proof. I have never left a case unsolved. You're just gonna have to let this one go, Frank. Just let me, just let me question Teresa one last time. Private. No. She works in your house. She's your mother's personal secretary. Ethan, if she is in league with your stalker, then that leaves you in a very dangerous situation. Just the opposite. It occurred to me that the stalker disappeared right after Teresa started working here. Teresa's brought me good luck. I really must have been born under a lucky star, Whitney. You're not going to be so lucky if Frank sees you without your disguise. He could recognize you from that sketch you had of the stalker. Don't worry, Whitney. There's no way Frank will ever find out I'm the girl Ethan thinks he's stalking him. Do you know what this means, Whitney? With Frank not around tailing me, I don't have to worry about the skies anymore. No more wig, no more hair in a bun, no more clunky burgundy shoes. Well, what about when you're working for Ivy Trainers or personal secretary? Well, of course I have to wear my disguise then, but when I'm not working at the Crane Mansion, I can walk around Harmony as my real self. You are going to get your real self tossed in jail if you keep acting this cocky. Oh, forget it, Whitney. You ace the interrogation. Frank isn't looking for me anymore. Well, what if Ethan sees you without your disguise? He won't. Ethan never comes downtown. Okay, say Frank did move on to another case. He could still spot you. So? So he will still turn you into Ethan. You're pushing it. I don't think this is about me at all, Whitney. You've got Frank Lomax on the brain. I do not. I think he wanted to nab you so he can put his big, strong arms around you. I do not. A minute, Winnie, you thought about what it would feel like. I got those looks between you two. Look, stop it, okay? That man is never going to have his arms around me. You never know. If he weren't a detective, he'd be pretty hot. Look, I don't even want to talk about this, okay? Besides, even if Frank and I even came close to connecting, he would find out that I lied and that my best friend is the stalker he's been looking for. Not if you didn't tell him. Now, you know I'm not as good a liar as you are. Thanks. You know what I mean. And with the cranes controlling this town, I mean, can you imagine what would happen to us? Even worse, our families. I don't want to deal with this now. Let's think about it tomorrow. Fine. You know, I'm still hungry. It's pizza night at the book cafe. You want to just grab some? Yeah. I've got to pick up some papers at the Ethan of Bloom. That'll meet you there? Okay. <laughs> Hello, Whitney. Frank, what are you doing here? I am uh, getting some pizza. And you? You're obviously waiting for someone. Teresa, maybe? No, no, not Teresa. Oh, boyfriend then? Oh, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean that um, this pizza isn't for any boy. I just figured a girl like you have a whole line of boyfriends. <laughs> But if I'm butting in where I don't belong, let me know. No, no. Um, it's just that this pizza and soda are actually mine, because I'm so starving right now. <laughs> yeah, I like girls with healthy appetites. Um, Mind if I join? You can. Why? Well, I thought you weren't expecting any. I'm not. It's just that, um, 
I'm in the middle of this article. Oh, tennis, huh? Yeah. It's about these new rackets, and I really want to finish it, and I just wouldn't be good company right now. Well, that's all right. I'll take my chances. I won't be long anyway. What are these magazines saying about uh, these new rackets? Oh, it, you must have lost your place because uh, this article is about whether a healthy sex life improves your tennis game. Oh. So tell me, does it? Sex and tennis. Is it true what they say? <laughs> they just say that to sell magazines. Well, they're doing a pretty good job. People in town tell me you're a pretty good tennis player. You've been asking around about me? Yeah, here and there. They tell me you got what it takes to be a champion. I figured that I'd uh, give you a call, maybe take you up on a couple lessons. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why, you do coach, don't you? I mean, isn't that why you were at the country club the other morning? Huh? Yeah, right. Listen, you don't have to be nervous around me. Oh, I'm not nervous. <laughs> no, I mean, because of what I said the other day about you and Teresa knowing more about the stalker than you were admitting, I was wrong. You were? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was thinking, why would you lie to me? Exactly. That's what me and uh, Teresa were trying to tell you. I just wish I still had that sketch, you know. I suppose it doesn't matter because her face is so distinctive. I'll never forget her face. The pizza's getting cold, Whitney. Oh, right. <laughs> Okay. Are you all right? Hey, you all right? You got something stuck in your throat. Are you okay? Are you okay? Whitney, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Thank are you, you sure? I'm sure. All right. I mean, worried there for a minute, sir. <laughs> Two slides and we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, keep the chain. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. I'll let you get back to your magazine. That's a, it's a very interesting article. Maybe I'll give you a call about the lessons. I didn't see you there. Don't worry about it. It was my fault. Oh. Do you have any idea how close you came to almost getting caught by Frank? I wasn't. Was I, Whitney? No, but these close calls are killing me. Not like I love being covered in pizza dough. Their faces could have been a lot worse. Speaking of which, you weren't exactly in pain when Frank's arms were around you. But that was not a love squeeze, okay? He thought I was choking to death. Yeah, well, I saw where his hands were. How did it feel? I don't know. I mean, I didn't feel anything. You don't have to lie to me, Whitney. I think it was a brilliant stroke. The next time I'm around Ethan, I may fake choking myself. I was not faking. I mean, <clears throat> I was, but not him to put his arms around me. You know, I did it to protect you. You know, I don't even know why I bother. I was only teasing, Whitney. You know what? I am not in the mood for pizza anymore. Let's go. But what about Frank? He's not gone by now. Come on. 